Uh, hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, so we're continuing our playthrough of with the new medic class uh, on sort of the stars of the pit. Uh, we at the end of the last video we just got into uh, four six of the dungeon. Uh, so let's continue. I think our Dura knife is starting to pass by the uh, pass by use and usefuls now. Uh, seems like almost every enemy takes multiple hits with it. Like I just switched to my combat baton, which is much stronger, and these guys still are taking multiple hits. The only bad thing though is that every weapon except for the Dura knife um, uses uh, uses ammo of some kind. Uh, so, what is that? Squawker drone. So typically, you want to. Uh... Oh, that's cool. Do you have to be a Morigi uh, racial character to use it? Look at that. We can now see behind us. So no longer uh, do are we blind behind us, but uh, apparently it also increases our accuracy as well. I don't know how much. Uh, I don't know if it says. It does not say. That's pretty cool. I don't know how long it lasts for, though. There's only four charges. I'm assuming... Oh, look at that. The squawker... Wow, that's a big boost. 15 boost to pistol, 15 to rifle, 15 to assault weapon, 15 to heavy... That's so good. Um, I'm assuming it only lasts for a temporary amount of time because it has charges. Uh, but items with charges can be recharged at charging stations, so even when you eventually run out, it's not the end of end of the world. And let's uh, take uh, let's try out our new drone with our pistol. I think that might have actually done more damage too. So I think yeah, I think uh, increasing your <clears throat> weapon skills improves not only your accuracy but possibly the damage you do. Yeah, see, this is a charge up. We can actually use it to recharge our drone and other items. Um, I'm gonna save it for the time being, uh, at least until the end of the level. Ah, okay, field surgery is good. We can use that item to heal ourselves in combat without giving the enemy a turn. It's instant. So if you're about to die in one hit, that's a very useful item to have. Um, but yeah, we'll and we just leveled up. Um, I. I don't know, sometimes it's a good idea to to wait until you're in the middle of combat to level up just so you can take advantage of the healing you get. But uh so I guess I guess we can do that. We're, there's no no real rush to level up at the moment. These guys steal items from you, I believe. So it's yeah. We'll use our combat baton, which is good against robots to uh kill it quickly. Ah, okay. Whoa, wait, really? Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, that was quick. So apparently, it only, like every 20 turns or something is one charge. Oh, I, yeah, sorry, I forgot. I was saving the uh, <laughs> level. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, so that's good, but it runs out so quickly. I guess you just want to save that for combat then. We can recharge with our charge hub we just repaired, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, that's a Good to know how quickly it runs out. I didn't realize it was going to be quite that fast. I think at 40, we get another another psionic ability in that category. I think the next one is to let you cure diseases, uh, which is good because, like I said in the last video, I've lost more characters to disease, poison, and hunger than I have actual dying. So having a way to cure disease without having to use an item is... Uh, very useful and will greatly increase the chances that your character survives to the end of the game, which, you know, by the way, I've never actually seen because I've never gotten that far. Of course, that's not that unusual for roguelikes. I mean, I think games like NetHack, people have played for decades and never beating it. 
Mm -hmm. This one does tend to get pretty difficult later on. I mean, the early game's easy, but yeah, it gets hard. And I think the farthest I've ever gotten, not on this computer, but on an older computer, it's like level 15 or 20 or something. Um, yeah, dungeon level, I mean, not, not character level. Yeah, let's just go yeah, forging. We'll go with biotech as well. And then... Uh, mechanical. <clears throat> yeah, see, our mechanical skill is useful here to try to pry it open. Uh, we actually did succeed, but it was empty. Light weapons locker. We have a 94% chance of opening it, so hopefully we'll get something. Uh, hand cannon and some ammo for it. It requires 60 might, uh, which we do not have enough to wield effectively. I think we can still use it, but you'll suffer from uh, from accuracy penalties. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so I think we're eventually going to want to use that. We need to focus on... Oh, wow, we're not even close. We need, like, 14 more might. I don't know if we're ever going to get high enough to be able to use that then. Well, that's unfortunate. Another charging station. Let's see if we can repair it. So we failed there, but we still got an electronics upgrade. And we succeeded with the other charging station, so uh, we can actually still use that later on. Oop, I almost went for the door trap. <laughs> it might not be a big deal, but I don't want to risk it. I think like one of them teleports you like five levels down in the dungeon, <laughs> uh, which is generally bad, because then you go further than you're ready to go. Uh, so we'll recharge our drone, we'll recharge our scanner, and then our food purifier. Uh, did we really use... yeah, we use the medical. Oh, shit. Trap induces madness, that's great. So I think madness... yeah, see, you hallucinate. These are not real monsters. That They're hallucinations that can't harm us. The worst they can do is impede your movement, and, uh, and you know, if you think they're real, then you'll waste ammo. And of course, if you actually are being attacked by real enemies at the same time, then you don't know which ones are real and which ones are fake. Well, I think you will eventually, because the, uh... Because the, uh... The fake ones always miss, but, uh... I'm not sure how you damage your knife attacking a freaking illusion. Um, there we go. Madness has subsided. So that drone is pretty useful. It just runs out of charge too quickly, really. I mean, I'll keep it around. It, there's a possibility that, you know, in combat later on, we'll want to use it, but... Uh... Not sanitary. But yeah, it runs out of charge so quickly. It's like, it lasts for like 80 turns or something. And, you know, keep in mind, a turn is moving like... Ooh. It's like two mo uh, two tile movement is like one turn, or attacking is one turn. Uh, I hate those stealth robots. So yeah, he went stealth. Luckily, he didn't move, so we know where he is. We can still attack him. Looks like he moved. Yeah. Yeah. Look how strong this guy is. Plus, he can turn invisible, and he does a ton of damage. Um. We're even using a weapon that's good against robots, too. Let's get out of the line of sight of that machine gun robot. Or whatever, kind of. There we go. 900 experience, that's good. Uh, ugh. I need a good long-range weapon against robots, because my, my pistol is kind of only worthwhile against uh, organic units. I mean, I guess you could technically use it against robots. You're not going to get a healing effect, I don't think. Um, 
These days would be weird as hell if you got their healing effect. Another new weapon. Not enough space. Um, okay, so what we'll do is it probably is a vertical. It requires four vertical spaces. So now we should have enough space. Yep. Heavy sniper rifle. Wow. We do have enough finesse, which is good. For a skill rifle, I think we don't have any skill in a rifle. So if we try to use this, we're going to like miss every time. Uh, damage is 20. 95 penetration, so it almost completely ignores armor. That's really good, actually. Really, really good. Um, what's our rifle skill, though? It might even be worth trying to level it up to use it. Uh, did I go buy it? Rifle is pretty bad, but still potentially usable. Um, I think I'm just going to replace our Dura Knife with it, because we're not really using that anymore. What we could do is just keep on using the... Uh, the heavy sniper rifle uh, to skip, level up our um, to try to level up our rifle ability. Of course, we don't have that much. Damn, we're losing everything here. All that ammo would have been useful. Uh, we don't have that much. Oh, god damn it! <sighs> I think I'm gonna toss a grenade at this asshole. Didn't do that much damage. Let's heal. I hate mimics so much. They're so strong. And that does not do much damage to them at all. There we go. I think that's whole level. So yeah, we'll we'll head down to the next floor. Uh, you know, that actually does do okay damage against robots. It seems to do, like, about 40% less than compared to an organic unit, but it still does do... That's, uh, let's not get madness again. I'll avoid that. And we're running out of hunger points again, so we're going to need to eat soon. And here we have no choice but to go through a door trap because there's only one door. Um, we could destroy the door, um, I think with certain, like an explosive for instance, uh, uh, but it's kind of a waste of explosive. I mean, it depends. We don't know what the trap is. If we did, you know, you might you might be able to say that, uh, oh yeah, we're going to use our sniper rifle, right? Uh, depending on what this trap is, it might have been worth it to destroy the door, uh, but I'm not going to bother. Um, if you have a certain psionic ability, you can actually try to disarm it from a range, but yeah, I don't think that's the only way you can disarm it is with... Yeah, you can't disarm this kind of trap without it. Um, wait, what happened? We went through it and nothing happened. Hmm, well, that's interesting. That is quite a bit of damage, uh, but we're going to miss a lot because... Oh. Uh, because our skill with rifles sucks so much. But, you know, the more we use it and the more we level up, the more we can increase that. I guess it's better to use it now against weak enemies than uh, when it's not that big of a deal if we miss. The only thing is, though, by the time we get our skill up high enough to make it a good weapon, we might be out of ammo. <laughs> and it would have been nice to get that food from the kitchen, but uh, we failed both. Uh, yeah, let's put a point in rifle. It only increased by one. That sucks. Um... Also, damn, we're getting unlucky here. Uh, lock pit. Everything's going up only by one. What the hell? There we go. Could get some armor or weapons in here, and the uh, the because of the helmet icon indicates there's like equipment. I think. Right. Oh wait, no, helmet is staff quarters. Okay, for some reason I thought helmet was the armory, but yeah, no, it says we're in the staff quarters in the top right. So, I guess there's just usually beds and apparently tool chests. God damn it. I think that's a portable cooker, so we can actually cook some food. Um, yeah, that is a portable cooker. Uh, and we're almost out of space, too. Let's try to... Uh See, here's the thing. This is not normal bread. This is, like... Uh, safe stale bread. So I don't know if we can actually, if we actually can make a sandwich out of these. I know if you had um, normal 
meat and normal bread, you could do it. I don't know if we can do it with... Oh, you know what? Actually, let's... I think we can turn safe meat into cooked meat. Let's do that first. The recipe isn't valid. Apparently not. Alright. Uh, well, let's try... Let's see if we can make a safe sandwich or something. Ah, we did. Fortifying sandwich. Out of ammo. So yeah, we can actually turn the purified food into a, a good, a good item. 150 food. That's quite good, actually. So yeah, that's like a third of our bar, basically. Uh, yeah, we can't. We have enough to make one more, so we'll do that right now. Ugh, okay, we keep on getting attacked right now, which is really irritating. Uh, ooh, that guy has psionic abilities. Look at that. Using like telekinesis against it. Really, another one, dude. Can we stop getting attacked for a few seconds? It'd be fantastic. Apparently not. Apparently, we can't stop getting attacked. <sighs> okay. Yeah, let's cook some more food while we're at it. Uh, cooked meat, we'll cook all of our raw meat. That's why I wanted to save it, because it's much uh, much more uh, nutritious if we... It's much more nutritious if we uh, cook it. Plus, we can use that in other ingredients as well. Um, where did that go? So 50 food compared to like 30 or something for the raw. Uh, let's purify the tainted meat. And then let's see if there's anything else we can cook. Um, I feel like anti venom if we had serum and poison land. We do have poison lands, but no serums. I don't think we can cook anything else at the moment, so... Uh, I think these you can't make in here. These are just other uh, recipes I know, but you can't actually make them in the cooker. You need the right right type of item to make it. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it for now. Um, let's... That's broken, right? What is that? Um, Alright. Well, let's see here. Should be enough space for it. Still Singer Toolkit? What? Glear Toolbox. It is pretty sweet. Charges 10. That's cool. I apparently can't use it because um, I'm not a Leer. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll save it for the time being to see if there's some, some use we can discover for it later. We can always drop it if we need more inventory space. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's kill that guy. I don't want to get diseases. Uh, damn it. Oh, we got infected. We have a level 3 disease. Um, I'm going to see if it goes down. If it increases in severity, then I am going to use a healing item. Jesus. But, uh... If it, it, there's a chance it'll heal on its own. So we'll, we'll try that, see what happens. Yeah, disease reduced. So it's at level 2 now. So it looks like it's starting to cure itself. Sharpening kit. For like knives and things. Now we're at level 1 disease, so it should heal itself all the way now. Yep, there we go. Um, let's reload. There's usually robots in this mechanical room. The bot, yeah, I see bot storage. Eesh. Um, just toss a grenade at these guys. Well, our rifle skill got upgraded at least. 
But yeah, we're still missing quite up quite often. Yeah. We got a weapon bio mod. Let's use our scanner or one of our scanners. Motivation charge. Sounds like our first good one. Increases the chance of target attacking next... Wait, what? Increases the chance of target attacking next turn. Oh, so it's like a taunt type thing? I, I think that's actually kind of bad, isn't it? Like, it makes them more likely to attack you? I don't see... Yeah, I don't see how that would help me. Let's just get rid of that then. These are all completely destroyed, so... Whoa, what's in that bloody room over here? Oh, it's like a med a med lab or something. We'll, oh, we'll uh, we'll go down there later to uh, pick up uh, pick up any medical supplies we can get. Uh, ruined, damaged. We can. Uh, I guess yeah. Let's try to go to the repair station. Uh, hopefully the trap's not too bad. Okay, fifty percent reduction in speed, but for thirty rounds, not a big deal. There's no enemies around, so it's not going to affect us. Oh, okay, so no point in coming in here. But um, we didn't really suffer any ill effects other than wasting some hunger points. And see, it's already worn off the, uh, the slow effect that we got from the trap. Looks like a million people were murdered in here. We don't really need healing, but we're not at full health either, so I guess might as well. Oh, a cooking station. Uh, we don't have anything to cook because we already cooked everything with our easy cooker. So, that's fine. Oops. Let's finish out this level. Weapon storage. The red ones are actually pretty good, I think. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any items to increase our chances. Yeah, if we had like a, a crowbar. We could have, you know, given it like a twenty-five percent increase or something. Um, but we don't have any of those items right now. Oops. Yeah, our our rifle abilities is dismal. That's why we're missing so often. We really need to prioritize increasing that, but uh, there's not much we can do other than use the weapon and uh, and l level up. Hmm. All right. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. Uh, yeah, let's go to the next level. Ooh, lots of enemies around. All right, don't want to waste any time missing, so let's just kill them with this. Fortunately, it's taking multiple hits for every single guy. There we go. I hear a robot. A couple of robots, apparently. Volatile storage. Uh, so I think you can get like chemicals in here. Uh, is that another scanning unit? I don't know that we really need a third one, uh, especially since we can recharge them. But uh, I mean, I can just pick it up for the time being. We can always destroy it or drop it later on. Uh, I think this has, yeah, consoles will have encrypted messages, um, and decrypting message, decrypting messages. Uh, some of them are just lore, and others are uh, crafting recipes. So that's how your crafting recipes you learn actually carry over from character to character. It's like a global uh, memory, I guess. Uh, so, oh, your individual character doesn't know recipes. It's uh, your your whole game save file knows it. So it's actually useful to uh, decrypt these, even if you're not planning on crafting with your current character. A 
Like, that's why when we started the game, um, my character already knew certain crafting recipes, like the cooking ones. And plus, uh, that one, uh, that one recipe that I made on my own, uh, without it being on the list, the, uh, using the safe bread, safe food, and safe cheese, uh, because I used it for the first time on this save file, or this game save file, it, uh, it added it to global memory, so all future characters now have that in their list as a, something that they can make. Yeah, see, these rooms typically have a lot of robots. Oops. Oh, damn it. Ugh. We're hungry and we're deceased. Uh, well, let's try to eat something. We do have another of the safe sandwiches that we made. Um, sure, let's eat some vitamins. And we're berserk right now too. I'm not actually sure what that one does. Uh, I'm assuming it maybe increases your melee ability. Oh, I wasn't doing that. Apparently, it just forces you. Okay, so that's what berserk does. It makes you automatically attack everything in range, even uh, consoles. That would be useful, which is <laughs> kind of annoying. Analyzer. Oh, we don't actually have any any items to analyze though. I mean, I guess we can just try to use it for the experience. But we don't need it. No. Plus, we have three portable analyzers, so there's really no reason for us to save that. I mean, we have three portable rechargeable analyzers, so in theory, we should never run out of the ability to analyze items. Oh, okay. look at that guy. Doesn't seem to be too powerful. There are a ton of robots, though. Oh god, there's so many of them. Alright. Luckily, this should one hit kill all of them. Because they steal items, as you can tell. Uh, there's, but we can pick them all up, though. So There we go. We'll get our items back. Four. Wait, what What used to be in... Oh, grenades. We used all the grenades, didn't we? Um, yeah, minus 16 damage, because we don't have enough... Uh, we don't have enough might to wield it properly, so there's no point in even using that weapon until we get our might up, which I don't know if we'll ever get it that high on this character. guys have a lot of HP. Oh, and they steal items too. That's annoying. Oh, wait. That wasn't him. That was this asshole over here. Damn it. God, how many of these... Okay, you know what? Let's stun these... Let's stun these guys so they can't run away. Oh, it does damage to them too. That's nice. Uh, they stole more items than that, didn't they? I, shit, I think we lost some of them. Did they, like, eat them or something? I think they may have, like, destroyed the items. <laughs> that's, that's really annoying. I don't remember what they stole, but, I mean, it's not good. Oh, we, look at that. We got two, uh, we got two, uh, stat points to distribute. All right. Yeah, let's increase our rifle ability for sure. And we'll keep on pumping points into redaction. Uh, Some more biotech, electronics, and forging. That's brilliant. Um, can we? Do we have enough? No, we don't. Emperor's lockpick. No. Grenade. We don't have enough ingredients for any of these things. Um, I mean, theoretically, we might be able to make something of what we have. I don't know what recipes 
are available with the items we have though, so. I mean, I could blindly try stuff, but that will most likely just end up destroying our items. So, we'll... I think that's an armor container, so we might actually get a piece of armor, which will be uh, useful because most of our slots are still empty, as you can see. Plus, you know, our starting armor isn't really even that great to begin with. Oh! Oh my god, all of our energy cells were stolen by those robots. We had like 600 chargers, now we have none. Those asshole. Those robots stole the energy cells, and I guess, I don't know, maybe because they're energy cells, they can use them? Well, now our baton. We did have enough ammo to use our baton for like another 10 or 20 levels, and now we're out of ammo for our baton, so we're kind of fucked. That's actually really shit. Now we're. That could end up like killing us because that, that stupid robot stole ammo from us. Wow, <laughs> that's really really irritating. Um, I don't know what I want to drop. I don't even know what this thing is. I don't think I can use it because I'm not a leader, so we'll get rid of that. Yes, go away. Um, ceramic plate armor. 45 armor compared... Oh, it's exactly the same as what we're currently using. Except, uh... Oh, no, I'm sorry. 45 armor. The new one is 90 armor. It's double the armor. Uh, 140 durability. Wow, that's awesome. So it sounds like it's good against bullets, but it possibly slows you down. I think we can probably drop the other armor just to make room. Well, let's hold on to it for the time being, but... We don't seem to be any slower... Right, I think we still have the same number of movements per turn. But that was that was a good find. That will increase our survivability greatly. Because we don't have that much HP. We're not really a combat character. Yeah, so here's a message. Uh, we're not going to be able to decrypt it because our, our decryption skill... Oh, maybe we can. I thought... Our cyber skill is pretty low, but we actually did do it. Okay. Um, okay, so that's just a, a lore message. It's not a, a recipe for crafting. And we're over half an hour. Um, so I'm just going to finish out the level. I think there's only one more room. And then we'll call it a day for this video. I'm still really pissed off about losing those uh, 600 rounds of electro of uh, energy cells. I mean, I think there were only like 20 cells, but each cell gives you like 30 charges on the baton. So losing that really, really hurts. Um, luckily, if we do find more cells, it, you know, each one will give us quite a number of charges. So you know, we can replenish that fairly easily if we manage to find anything. Um, those guys are annoying, we keep on getting diseased. And then really quickly, let's just see if the disease decreases on its own. It worsens, so let's use an item to heal it then. Um, can we treat diseases with this? By one level. Uh, Anti-venom for poison. Two levels of disease instantly. We'll just use one more to get rid of it. Alright, so we're cured. And then we'll go to the next level, and then that will be it for this video. Another one of those disease-causing guys right there. Alright, well, uh, we'll have to pick this up next time. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you around.